Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is May. I'm a final year vet student at the University of Cambridge. And today, I will talk to you about how do you write your personal statement for veterinary medicine. To be honest, I have a little bit of imposter syndrome talking about this because I still think that I got really lucky. That's how I got into vet school. I also list some resources in the link below that I found from other YouTube channels and other websites. So hopefully that will be of use to you. And let's go, let's dive right in. So your personal statement is basically your 4,000 word essay on why you want to enter that university for that particular course. So it's your chance to kind of showcase yourself, who you are, what your interests and why they should pick you for the course. For veterinary medicine, you can structure your personal statement into your introduction, your body, which talks about your work experience, your interests and your activities in school and outside of school, and then your conclusion. So first I'll talk about how I structured my personal statement and what I wrote in each of the paragraphs. And then later on, I'll give some general tips and advice that I found that helped in my application. So for the introduction, you want to grab your reader's attention because they'll be reading thousands and thousands of personal statements from all the applicants. So you want to find a way to stand out and be original and talk about a little bit about yourself and why your interests have led you to pursuing this career. And you gotta really show your passion. I think enthusiasm and passion is one of the most important things that showcase that you, you mean serious when you want to do veterinary medicine. It is your first choice, you wanna do it and you can't live if, we, if you don't do it. So yeah, you gotta show that to your interviewers. I mean, show that to your assessors. So reading back to my personal statement, I wrote, um, I wrote, my, my first line was, my desire to study veterinary medicine arises from a childhood encounter where I failed to rehabilitate a malnourished stray cat watching it die helplessly. Take what you will with that statement, but that was, it did happen when I was a kid and um, yeah, I was quite sad about it, which kind of inspired me to pursue this career. So here we are today. And I wrote about how growing up, I bury myself in BBC wildlife magazines, pour over books by James Harriet and like National Geographic documentaries, it, which was generally what I did and generally what grew my interest. So probably you could write something similar to your story about how you found an interest in veterinary medicine and how, why you want to pursue it. Your why, yeah, your why. So for the body, I wrote four paragraphs. First two paragraphs were about work experience. The third one was about what I did in school, the extracurricular activities, how I built my character. And the fourth one is about things I did outside of school, like volunteer work and etc. So for listing down your work experience, you don't want to just list down what you saw and where you've been. You want to list down what you took away from it. So like what experience you gained from it and what insights you found. For example, if you saw a really cool surgery, why was it cool? What did it inspire you to do? Did it inspire you to read more books about or to for example, if it was a bone surgery. Or you can talk about a euthanasia consult and discuss how difficult it was for the owner and the vet to come to a decision and understand that clinical outcomes are not always positive and oftentimes you have to prioritize easing the animal suffering, which is why we do euthanasia. So basically for every work experience that you list out, you don't have to list out all of it if there is too much because remember, you have a 4,000 word limit. So what you want to do is pick out the ones that stood out most to you and pick out the ones where you have more things to gain insights from and talk about them because they can ask you in the interview. Also, top tip is to reread your personal statement again just before your interview because you might forget what you wrote in your personal statement and they will definitely ask you like they did for me. So I mentioned about inbreeding depression in dogs and how that more pure breeds you get, the gene pools are smaller and therefore they have more genetic abnormalities. And then in the interview, he did ask me to come up with examples. So just before the interview, I read up some statistics about certain breeds like corgis and golden retrievers and the percentages of uh, cancer risks that they have and that impressed the interviewer. So make sure you do your homework before the interview as well. For the last two paragraphs in my body section, of the personal statement, I wrote one about what I did in school. So it consisted of uh, societies, uh, science competitions that I joined, leadership positions that you have. What they want to know is how you manage your time. So through these experiences of com doing competitions and doing exams at the same time, I learned how to manage my time and it honed my interpersonal skills and stuff like that. So the main thing is not about your achievements, but also about how it builds your character into the person you are today, which is the main, which is more important. For the second paragraph, I wrote outside of school, the things that I would do in my free time to sort of wind down from the stresses of exams and etc. because the veterinary medicine 
medicine degree is very stressful and they want to know that you know how to wind down and you know how to take care of yourself and what you do in like um, playing music to wind down or baking or like going running have a work-life balance so then it shows that you are capable of uh, taking up this veterinary medicine degree because it is an intense degree and you know and yeah, you gotta be able to have that work-life balance. So for the conclusion, you wanna tie your essay all together and I wrote that I was fully aware of how demanding the veterinary medicine course is, but I am determined and positive that I can overcome the challenges ahead for this course. So I guess write something that um, sort of reinforces and reinforces the reader that shows that you are able to pursue this degree. And some people also write about their other interests in veterinary medicine specifically uh, to show that they are, they mean business and they know that this is what they want to do, uh, which can be an interesting uh, topic to talk about in your interviews as well. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it about my personal statement. So I put a useful link in the description box below of other YouTubers talking about personal statements, which I find really good, and also about examples of veterinary medicine personal statements. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Okay, final tips, general tips about writing your personal statement. I would say start early because you will edit and re-edit the drafts again and again and again, and I ended up with so many drafts, so that's normal, that's fine. Give it a go even if it means just writing one or two lines today and then you don't look at it and then tomorrow you come back and look at it and then you write a little bit more you slowly build up um, and it will be better and i would say give it a go before reading other people's personal statements or before reading the personal statement link examples in the description box below because you want to try and write it in your own voice before you refer to other people so that you don't get influenced by other people's writing styles if that makes sense but if you are confident that it won't influence your writing style then just go ahead and read it tip number two reread your personal statement before your interview once you go an interview because they will likely ask you about it and also the books that you mentioned in it so make sure you read those books <laughs> Okay. Three, get a proofread by an English teacher. I was really lucky. I got my personal statement proofread, 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 proofread. As you can tell, my English is not that great and I'm not that great at writing essays. My cousin did English literature and my other cousin who is a GP doctor, so she knows those medical terms and scientific terms and things, so they both were really crucial in making sure that my personal statement flowed. So yeah, get some help if you need it. And as much as possible, be concise and make sure each paragraph or each thing that you write in your personal statement has a purpose so it's a purpose to show off your enthusiasm purpose to show that uh, you have character development purpose to show that you're fit for the veterinary medicine degree and purpose uh, that shows that you mean business when you really want to study veterinary medicine and it is all you want to do well not all you want to do you got to show your work-life balance as well but you is what you really want to do also don't stress too much because remember that you also have your interviews and your grades that they will look at and any extra tests that the university requires for example the cambridge university requires the nsaa test so they will look at all of these things and then consider you as an applicant so just have faith and do your best you got this you've got this and I also heard that for Liverpool, they look more on your work experience rather than your personal statement. So yeah, different universities have different ways of uh, looking at applications. Lastly, you've got this, you can do it. Believe it in yourself. If you need help, reach out to a mentor. Also, if you're in the UK, you can sign up for Zero Gravity, which is a mentoring platform where you as a mentee can sign up and then you'll be assigned to mentors who are in your degree of choice. So for example, veterinary medicine. And I'm signed up as a volunteer, so there'll be many volunteers like us ready and willing to help you, help guide you through the university application process. And this is all free completely. I'm not like affiliated with them or whatsoever. I just think it's really good and really important that you have someone who guides you through this university application process especially for veterinary medicine because there are a lot of different forms that you have to do and like different things work experience requirements and like things that you need to consider so yeah if you have any more questions put them in the comments below otherwise check out my other application tips and advice videos or more vet school vlogs if you want to feel inspired about what you're gonna get yourself into in the next five or six years when you get an offer all the best and stay safe I want to say, I want to say something.